Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. First off, let me say this, that <clears throat> these people that are attacking me, attacking Paul Begley, attacking other Christian ministers and pastors on the internet, what they want is to feel good in their sin and be told that not just they are loved, that they are and their sins are accepted. They don't want to be told that there is a consequences, any punishment for their sins. Like Jesus said in Luke 13, 5, I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will be likewise, you will all likewise perish. Repent doesn't mean that you are free to stay in your immoral lifestyle. This is still the gospel of Jesus Christ that needs to be preached. And if it's not going to be preached in the church, then it needs to be preached on the internet. I'm not ashamed of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. I will never apologize for preaching and saying that same-sex marriage is against God's will. Bottom line. So, you know, you can say whatever you want to say, but I believe that, yes, we are living in the last days. Because Jesus said in Matthew 24, again, I will say Matthew 24, 9, Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will arise, will rise up and deceive many, and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. Well, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of false prophets right now, but the Pope, I mean, during all this stuff that's going on with me, Pastor Paul Begley, and these other preachers, and then the Pope comes out and says, to the uh, Catholic priests that they need to accept. They ne need to accept. You know, the LGBT community. False prophets rising up and trying to deceive many. Lawlessness and again, people are being offended by the truth. The ones who speak the truth. And again in uh, Ma uh, Mark. Mark 13. Jesus says. But watch out for yourselves. For they will deliver you up to counsel. And you will be beaten in the synagogues. You will be brought before rulers and kings for my name's sake, for a testimony to them. Again, the gospel must be preached, you know, first to be preached to all nations. But when they arrest you and deliver you up to, up, do not worry beforehand, I Excuse me, Re beforehand or long story short, people, we're living in the last days. I'm just, I'm just so frustrated. Bible says to be angry and sin not. And in Luke 21, 
Jesus also said, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines, and pestilences, and there will be fearful signs in and great signs in the heavens. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, deliver you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. But will not. But it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Uh, you know, before before all this started happening. Last week, uh, actually it was a week before, before all this stuff started happening to me on the internet, and Pastor Paul Begley. I had a dream that uh, there was these four guys kind of, that came to the door. <laughs> these four big guys, two black guys, two white guys, then they were dressed in basically plain clothes, and but they had these badges around their necks and they uh, told me to come with them. I said, what for? And they said, we're we're, you're under arrest for preaching the gospel on the internet. I'm like, are you serious? Excuse me, are you serious? Like Pastor Paul Blakely would say, or what? Come on, yes and no. People don't want to believe in that the Holy Spirit gives dreams and visions in the last days to people like me. Oh, who are you to get a dream or a vision? Well, you know, long story short. I'm a follower of God Almighty, a follower of Jesus Christ, and I am a chosen one, whether you like it or not. You don't have, you don't have no choice in whether or not I'm a chosen one. Only he is the one that made the choice. And I don't want to say too much more other than if you're saved, if you're watching my video and you're a Christian, you're a believer... You need to get ready because time is short. Time is very short. Jesus is coming back soon. Because everything that I'm reading is happening. Boom, 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 boom. Right after another. One right after another. If you're not, you need to get right with God before it's too late. All you just have to do is tell God you forgive Him and to forgive you for all your sins, all the everything you've done wrong. Ask Him into your heart today. And uh, I don't lead people in prayers because they know what to say a lot of times, even if they don't say it. They can just think it and God can hear your thoughts. Just, you know, ask, that's all you have to do. Ask Him to forgive you. And you got to be serious about it. That's the other thing. you got to be serious about it. Because God is looking for a pure heart. Not one that's lying to Him. Ask, 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 ask Him to forgive you and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart into your life to change you Re, you know you repent and you change you turn away from your sins don't stay in your sins grace isn't freedom to sin like some preachers preach 
Grace is just the abounding love that God feels for us. He doesn't want to see us all perish. But you perish because you do not want to turn away from your sins. You do not want to repent. Instead, you want people like me to accept your sins. The Bible says I don't have to. And you know what? God says, you know, that's God's word. God says, I don't have to accept your sins. I accept you as a human being, a soul. But there's a line. I don't accept your sins. If you don't repent, if you don't turn away from your sins, you don't say that you're sorry and ask for forgiveness. Why should I say I'm sorry for preaching the truth? It's, you know, not going to happen. So I suppose you're going to keep up your tax. But, you know, since I get the truth now that you're the one that's doing this, and you admitted to it, and as I did in another video, I placed you under arrest for a felony, which is legal and binding. I mean, I'd have to be personally there to place you under arrest. I'm placing you under arrest because you'll probably see my video. And everybody else will see my video because you probably will all laugh about it. But when the authorities come knocking on your door because I placed you under arrest, because I have the authority here in the state of Ohio, then then you'll be like, well, I didn't know he could do that over the internet. Just wait and see. Yeah, and I'm not threatening Renee's parents whatsoever. I am just saying, listen here. Listen. Be quiet and listen for once in your lifetime. You think you're smart, but you're not. You know, you might think God is all loving and accepting, but He's not. What part of all this stuff I'm reading don't you understand? It's like ripping parts of the Bible. That Josh, um, Joshua. Oh, uh, can't remember his last name right offhand. On Facebook, he was a preacher. He did a video one day about it. He was taking, ripping pages out of the Bible. Joshua Ferguson, or something like that. Fergustine, Fergustine, or Fergustine, or something on that order. He did a video a long time ago, I don't know if it's still around, where he uh, was ripping pages out of the Bible. And, and he was preaching on how people are ripping the page. I, I think that was last year when he did that video. And that is what they are doing today. Ripping pages out of the Bible and only wanting to accept what is good and what is loving and what is accepting of their sins. And of course when I preach, you know, that uh, you're not supposed to accept that the Pope is wrong, he's a false prophet. Then, uh, you know, I'm hated. I'm hated for my Lord's namesake. Because they've even told me if I denounce Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, that they'll give me back my uh, administrative rights. And then he told me if I apologize, that they'll give me back my administrative rights. And then it's like, what more do you want? My blood? You know what? 
Here I am. But you're made of 40-40 in the process. And you say, well, that's not love. No, that's self-defense. See, God, Jesus also said, when he sent out the disciples to get a sword to take with you, he does not want us to be defenseless when we preach, especially in these last days. God bless you. Have a blessed day.